victory! Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you one of the best marksmen at the moment, Granger. He's quite easy to master if you follow the tips in this video. I will go through his skills and show you how you should use them. Of course, I'm going to show you also his build and explain you the items you should use. So make sure to stay until the end of the video and leave a like and subscribe if this guide was helpful for you. Let's begin. First is his passive. His 6th bullet will deal guaranteed critical damage. After 5 seconds the gun is automatically reloaded, so you can't run around with the last bullet forever. Also, he only gets 50% attack speed from items and emblems, what means it really makes no sense to build attack speed items for him. Next is his first skill. His gun is filled with 6 bullets immediately and shoots them quickly into the direction you are aiming. While shooting you can't change the direction, but you can use any spell as well as his second skill. This skill can really make a lot of damage if you aim it correctly. With his second skill, Dranger dashes into a designated direction and his next two basic attacks will deal additional damage. Last is his ultimate. Granger shoots 3 super bullets into the direction you are aiming and explodes when hitting an enemy hero. You can damage multiple heroes with it and slowing them down. While shooting he rolls into the direction you are moving to and when you roll against a thick wall you can shoot the bullets faster. You can go through thin walls though. That's all his skills, let's talk about how you should use them. First you should prioritize to level up his first skill over his second and his ultimate whenever possible. His usual combo is ult, then first and maybe second. You basically engage with your ultimate and finish the enemy with your first skill. The second skill you use to adjust if the enemy tries to dodge your first, to chase the fleeing enemy when he is low or to back out of the gank. You need quick reflexes so the enemy can't escape your first skill that easily. Also, you should aim the ultimate instead of just button mash it. Like this you have a much higher chance of hitting the enemy and also hit the squishy ones instead of the tank. His first skill can be also used very good from a bush to ambush the enemy. There is also of course a 7th bullet trick. If you are not aware of that, the trick is quite simple. You get rid of all bullets except the last one on minions or jungle creeps. When you engage, you hit the enemy with the last bullet first and then use your first skill. Like this you have technically 7 bullets. It's a nice trick of course, but you shouldn't focus too much on it. The extra damage of the last bullet is nice of course, but when you focus too much on it, you lose valuable time you could use on actually farming. Also when your last bullet is ready, you have only 5 seconds, so you might force yourself too early into a gank to not lose the last bullet. Long story short, if you manage to do that trick, awesome. But remember that your first skill already deals a huge amount of damage, so it's not really necessary in many situations. Last quick tip. You can use his first skill on minions or jungle creeps to shorten the cooldown of your second skill and room around faster like this. Let's talk about laning now. He can be used in the gold lane or as a jungler. On the gold lane you can play him quite aggressive from the beginning. His first skill deals directly a lot of damage, so if you manage to hit the enemy's marksman fully with it, you can force him to retreat and get an advantage over him. In the jungle your goal is of course to become level 4 as soon as possible. I like to rotate to the gold lane first, so I start with the buff on the opposite side first and clear the jungle on the way to the lane. Like this you are almost level 4 when you arrive on the lane and can start to attack the enemy after a few seconds with your teammates together. Next let's talk about his spells, emblems and build. In the jungle you use retribution, obviously. On the gold lane you should choose between purify and flicker, depending on which you like more. As emblem I would recommend the assassin emblem with the talent killing spree. You could also use bounty hunter if you are aiming for kills. What I wouldn't recommend, since your focus should be the objectives. Check out my guide on how to escape the epic hell if you want to learn more about objectives, awareness or how to rank up despite your noob teammates. Back to the emblem. You should use the remaining talent points on agility and invasion. Last is his build. I'm going to quickly explain you which items you should use. As boots, use either warrior or tough boots, depending on if the enemy deals more physical or magical damage. His first core item should be blade of despair. It has the highest physical attack bonus of all items, what makes it perfect to increase Granger's first skill damage. Brute Force makes him more sustainable in ganks and also increases his movement speed, what is very useful for rotating faster. Next is Endless Battle. It increases your physical attack, gives you more HP, some lifesteal and a bit more movement speed. Other items you can build are Hunter Strike, what increases your movement speed after dealing 5 times damage to an enemy or a creep. Malefic Roar for more damage and Queen Swings or Immortality as additional defensive items. These are my builds. And that's it for today's guide. I hope you found it helpful and you will be able to carry the show now with him. 
If you enjoyed this guide, leave a like and check out my other hero or general in-depth guides. Thank you for watching and see you next time.